Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. Today's video showcases how to set up a customer statement in QuickBooks Online, which can be a very helpful way to remind your customers of their outstanding invoices. I'll explain the different types of QuickBooks statements and how to customize your statement before sending it to your customer. From your company dashboard, click on Sales on the left-hand side toolbar, and then open the Customers screen. When you scroll down, a window displaying your customer list and their invoice and payment activities appears. From here, select the recipient of your customer statement by clicking on the name. You may choose multiple customers to receive statements by clicking on the checkbox before their customer names. From the Create Statements window, choose from three different types of statements in QuickBooks Online. The first being Balance Forward. This type shows all invoices and payments with outstanding balances for a specific period range that you select. It also includes the amount your customer owed prior to the chosen date range as the balance forward at the top of the statement. When you include the balance forward, it helps provide context to the customer and enables them to understand the overall outstanding balance carried forward from previous transactions. Next up, we have open item. Use this when you want to provide customers with a detailed breakdown of individual transactions, including open invoices, payments, and their credits. It displays all open unpaid invoices from the last 365 days, and it allows customers to see the specific details of each transaction, such as the invoice numbers, amounts, and due dates. Finally, we have transaction statements. A transaction statement displays the total amounts billed and received for every transaction within the period that you specify without showing any balance forward amount or amounts due. After selecting the type of statement, fill in the statement date and specify the date range for the statements you wish to create. You may leave the statement date as is to use the current date. When you're finished, click apply to continue. Make sure that the email address is accurate. This will be populated automatically based on the contact information you entered when you added the customer, as covered in my tutorial on how to set up customers in QuickBooks Online. You can adjust the level of details you set in your customer statement from your company dashboard account and settings. This can be executed in the following steps. Click on the gear icon in the top right corner of your company dashboard and select Account and Settings. Then click on Sales. Scrolling down to the Statements section to reveal three options available for QuickBooks Online Statements. These options allow you to adjust the level of detail provided in the document. There are only a couple options that you can customize here, and the first being listing each transaction as a single line. If you select this option, this statement will only show a summary of the invoice, including the invoice date, number, and the amount. The next option to customize is listing each transaction, including all detail lines. This option will provide a complete recap of the transaction. Each line item on an invoice will be summarized and shown separately. And the third, showing an aging table, at the bottom of the statement. By selecting this option, a summarized accounts receivable, AR aging report, will print at the bottom of the statement, showing any amounts that are past due. I recommend showing this table to alert customers of any overdue amounts. You now know how to set up a customer statement in QuickBooks Online. The next tutorial in my training course is how to set up expenses in QuickBooks Online. 
that covers your available options for tracking and billing expenses to customers and the level of expense detail to provide on expense and purchase forms. For more business resources, my online self-paced home bookkeeper masterclass, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you need more assistance, private QuickBooks online coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit eddjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.